Hey everybody, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health. And today I want to take a quick second and talk to you about saunas. Um, so I'm a huge proponent of saunas. If you're into health, you, I'm sure you've heard about all of the health benefits that saunas give you. Um, you know, that's beyond the scope of today's video, but I, I love saunas. I love infrared. I love traditional heat saunas. Um, anytime you can get heat and sweat and if you've got the infrared, um, amazing health benefits. But I wanted to bring you this video because I want to talk to you about a lot of the saunas out there that claim to be low EMF saunas, but in fact aren't. Uh, frustrates me to no end. These companies need to have some, you know, more ethical marketing tactics, if you ask me. Um, so I wanted to show you one video that I tested um, a couple days ago at a client's house. And I'll show, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but first, let me just tell you what I found. Of all of the saunas I've tested, numerous ones that claim to be low EMF, like Clear Light, Sunlight, and some other ones on the market, um, I've found surprisingly high levels. And there's some reasons for this. Part of the reason is they claim to be low EMF, but they're only testing one field, like say the electric field or just the magnetic field. Um, but when in reality, the other fields are actually high. So that's not a low EMF sauna. If you're low in radio frequency and electric fields, but you have high magnetic fields, you have a high, you have a high EMF sauna. So that's disingenuous. And then there's also another thing they do where they test this, this certain panels individually before they put the entire sauna together. So they can say, well, the panel, the panel here that I just tested, it's low, and this panel was low, so it's a low EMF sauna. But then when they put the whole thing together, for various reasons, those, their numbers might actually increase. So that's another area that I find to be a little disingenuous. Um, so like I said, I've tested numerous, and the only one that I found to be really consistent and always to be low is the Radiant Health Saunas. I trust this brand above all others. Um, I've spoken with the owner of this company numerous times, very high quality product. Um, he actually consulted with the building biologist to make sure that they were doing it properly, that they were actually creating as low EMF sauna as possible. And I have found that to be factual. I, I'm, I'm very impressed that if I was in the market to buy a sauna, if I had the finances right now to buy a sauna, I would buy a Radiant Health sauna above all others. So I will leave a link to that below. Um, and and I, I, full disclosure, I do have an affiliate link with them, which saves you $500. So, um, but don't let that bias you because I, I would never recommend a product that I haven't personally tested and truly believe in. I'm just really excited about them, they're awesome. Um, I will also say that I have tested a bunch of clear light saunas that I've been disappointed in. However, I tested one recently that was a newer version that did perform pretty well. There was a, some elevated spots, but overall it did test pretty low. Um, so I, I, was, I, I thought that was great. It seems like they're improving um, the parameters of, of the testing with the clear light as well, so that was good. But again, I, I would personally go with the uh, Radiant Health. So now I wanna show you a quick video I did a couple days ago at my client's house where I tested a sun lighten sauna. They claim to be low enough, but this is what I found. Hey everybody, um, we are going to test a sun lighten sauna today. And sunlight and saunas are known to be low EMF, so we are going to test it and see what we find. Go. All right, here is our sunlight and sauna, and I've got my NFA 1000 meter. I'm first going to test the electric fields and see what we have. So I've got about nine, and then we turn it on and it goes up to about 35 volts per meter. I'm gonna move the meter to the panels. Uh, right here I'm getting 175 volts per meter. I'm gonna move to the other panel. 175 volts per meter, that's quite high. I would not consider that to be low EMF. So now let's test the magnetic fields. 
Holy smokes. Okay, there we've got 63 milligals. That's actually extremely high. 4.7 milligauss in the middle, and then at this panel, I've got 60 volts per meter. And now I'm gonna turn it off real quick, just to make sure. <laughs> and we go down to under one milligauss. Um, so it's definitely the sauna producing those fields. And um, I would say that that is actually extremely high and I would be concerned about using this sauna for any length of time because that is um, not, in my experience, a low EMF sauna. Okay, so obviously those levels are really high. Very, very high magnetic fields, high electric fields as well. It is not what I would consider a health promoting device. Now you have to consider, well, I'm only spending 20 or 30 minutes in here, so is it that big of a deal? Well, at 60 milligauss, yeah, that is a big deal. Um, I don't wanna sp spend 30 minutes with my backup against 60 milligauss, that's way too high. So I'm disappointed in that test. You know, maybe some of the newer models are better, I don't know, I haven't tested every single one, so you know, I need to be totally upfront, there could be there could be a lot of improvement in, in some of the, you know, the newest models. I don't know. But like I said, it, it has been a consistent pattern that over the years that saunas I've tested, even though they claim low EMF are not, really frustrating, um, which again is why I really like the Radiant Health Sauna. So overall, I'm a huge fan of saunas, but you do want to make sure to do your homework, make sure that you know what you're getting, make sure that the companies. Um, are truthful in the information that they're giving. They're fully transparent and they can back up their claims with, uh, with reports and with science and hopefully um, with some meters, you know, and if you have meters of your own, please test. It's important to know where you're spending your time. So I hope that was helpful. If uh, you have a sauna and you're in the Rocky Mountain area and you'd like me to test it, let me know. I'm on the road often doing assessments and I'd be happy to swing by your place, do an assessment for you, test out your sauna, or maybe you have a meter. If you have a meter, I would love to see your results. I would love for you to shoot some video of it and share that with us because the more information we can get about this, the better. So I hope that was helpful. Again, if you um, enjoy this information, if you want more videos, please subscribe, like the video so that I can continue to bring you this information and we will see you next time. Bye.